No, we can't. No, we can't. No, I, I just, no, I was just a conversation going around here. They get me started. <laughs> <laughs> get in a little bit of trouble here. I know I'm going to get in trouble right now, but it's all right. November 2nd um, will be a, a transition at about midnight to November 3rd. And a lot of you have been waiting for your instructions and your assignments, but God was going to let man judge man on November 2nd in the United States. And that's what you've been waiting for. I bet you that cheers you right up. And you say, how can man judge man? It's simple. It's in the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16, 17, 18, when God gave His only begotten Son. Man judges himself because he likes the darkness more than the light. Now, if you're voting for darkness, if you're voting for abortion, if you're, if you're voting for all the things that are against the Bible, then you're judging this nation negatively. If you're voting for all Christian principles for the people running, then this nation will have a reprieve. I hope you hear me. You people don't like prophets. You know that, don't you? <laughs> like, I really can't. It's just my job. <laughs> you know, people want to... Don't... Go ahead and turn it off. Go somewhere else. It doesn't bother me anymore. You know, Jeremiah, the crying prophet, you know. November 2nd, God has told me this nation will either have a reprieve or there will be the biggest judgment on November 3rd in the days after that you've ever seen in this nation. If you vote flush, if you vote selfishness, if you vote for the give me I want, give me some more, I, want, I don't want to work, I want free, 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 you're going to bring judgment on this nation. If you're voting skin color, you're going you're gonna to bring judgment on this nation. There's one thing you should vote for, and that is Christian principles, and that is it. If you want to live under a regime, and you want to be known as my comrade, vote for darkness. And if you vote for darkness, you will know there is a God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that protects the babies in the wombs. You're going to about to know that there is a God who protects Dex is bride, and you might even see the rapture a lot sooner than you ever could think of. And if you're watching this unsaved, you should get saved because I'm telling you something right now. If this communistic, this socialism, this Marxism, this liberal fascism doesn't get overturned in November 2nd, all hell is going to break loose in the United States of America. So I'm, I'm telling you right now, and you can go to John chapter 3, go to verse 16, 17, 18, when God gives His only begotten Son, and He says, Jesus didn't come to judge the world. Man judges himself because he likes the darkness more than he likes the light. He likes the lies more than he likes the truth. And I'm telling you, right now we're becoming a pagan nation, and we only have a small window, and this nation will be turned over to the devil. And it's up to you November 2nd. And don't tell me you don't want to vote. You don't, you don't like either one running. I'm telling you right now, a no vote is the same as a vote. So get out and vote for somebody who has Christian principles. I'm not telling you to vote for somebody you like their name, you like their skin color, you think they're a great orator. Get out and vote for somebody who you know. Do the study that needs to be done to vote for the people. If you don't know who to vote for, we'll send you information on all the different types of ministries who are advertising what the past record of each person is been voting. This is Dominic Sola. We're talking about, this is Christ Intervention Ministries as always, but we have another ministry called Heal Our Nation, a grassroots movement. And that's what you just turned into. God bless you. Email us at healournation.com at gate.net. God bless.